This is Patricia Holmes and I'm your CIS 04 instructor and today's assignment is going to be building a birthday flyer, birthday celebration flyer in Word, Microsoft Word. So um, I'm going to walk you through this and remember uh, it doesn't matter what age your uh, Word software is, it can be new or old, they're generally the same. So um, remember you can pause this video as you build your flyer and you can go back and, and take a look at the tidbits. Again, the assignment is for you to replicate this particular flyer. So here we have a Word document and what I did with Word is I went into File, New Document and I picked a blank document and uh, that's what you're going to start with and that's what I started with here. And then once you get this Word um, this blank document. I want you to save it as birthday flyer. Then I went over here to design and over here I picked page color to the far right. On the page color there is an option right here, the uh, blue, light blue accent 5. I want you to pick that as your background. If you don't have this exact blue accent 5 I want you to pick something close. And speaking of that uh, I would like for you to, to carefully listen to me. If you don't have the, the exact font or the exact image, I want you to use something that you think is close enough. I trust your judgment. But the, for the overall goal, the overall goal is for you to get your hands and your mind into Microsoft Word. And uh, we're going to replicate this flyer to the very, very best of our ability. Okay, so now you have a blue background. You're going to type in some stuff, then we're going to format it. I typed in birthday celebration, Jordan's fifth birthday party, uh, and you highlight the text, and you change the... I'm going to come over here to home. So after you highlight the entire birthday uh, celebration words, you are going to come over here. I, choo I chose Cooper font size 48 and I would like you to do that. Now over here Jordan's fifth birthday party I chose a Calibri font 36. I'm trying to you know show you guys some different fonts and then over here with the balloons what I did was I went into the insert tab I went into pictures online pictures and I typed in the word balloons right here and I want you to do the same. I picked some nice party balloons. I shrunk them down. I squeezed them down to a roughly a two inch by two inch size. And then what you do with this, let me click this. I'm gonna put this on here really fast. What you do with this balloon, if you right click your image and you come down here to wrap text, I want you to take the image and wrap it behind, choose behind text. Okay, so I'm going to hit Command Z, which is backing up. I backed up. And now that balloon is behind my text. Next, we're going to insert an image of a dog. So I typed in over here Corgi. Uh, and then I typed in Corgi birthday. And the first picture that came up was this dog. By the way, this is not my dog. This is just a practice flyer. Uh, I picked this image, and I, if you click it and hit insert, it'll go right onto your screen. And then what I did was close this out. Then what I did was if you click right on top of the picture with your mouse, I want you to come over here to picture format. Okay, so you click picture format and you come over here to quick styles and choose a frame. Uh, I want you to pick a, a metal frame like this and then see how it's now kind of square edge. We're going to come right over here to this icon and we're going to bevel it out a little bit to make it softer and a little bit <clears throat> nicer of a frame. Finally, what I did was this on this preset selection group. I came down here to glow <clears throat> and I picked a kind of a brighter yellow glow around the frame so that looks nice. 
So what you want to do here is you want to type these these words up exactly. But here what I did is after I typed this up, I, I highlighted it. I went over to Format, Font, and I chose All Caps. I want you to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All caps here, all caps here on, the, on this sentence. But the when and the where I made bigger. 36. <coughs> Excuse me. Whereas this font is 26. Finally, uh, this font right down here is green. Insert uh, an image the same way we did the other images. This is a doggy birthday cake. I want you to find this image to the best of your ability. And <clears throat> then down here, I had RSVP. And uh, I put a number. I bolded and I underlined it. I want you to make it red. I want you to bold it. I want you to underline it. Now, all of this fitting on one flyer was a bit challenging. So what I did was I went into uh, layout. And I went over here to margins and I picked a real narrow margin. So in other words, I'm using as much as as much of the page as I possibly can. So I click narrow and that gave me a lot of room. It, it cleared up the top and the bottom. So I'm not on two pages. So your goal is to have all this on one page. And again, to replicate this flyer to the best of your ability. And I'm going to, I'm going to repeat this again because repetition is good uh, in a classroom and we are, we're basically in a classroom, but it's online. So I want you to re I want to repeat this again. There's no need to email me if you don't have the exact color or the exact font or the exact image. Just choose the very best substitute that you can. I trust you. But the overall feel should look like this. Finally, I want you to save this. Go file, save as, as a PDF file. So Word is going to open up. And I want you to come down here and I want you to choose PDF and hit export. That saves it as, I'll hit export right now. Oh, I already made it a PDF. So I'll just hit cancel. But I want you to save it as a PDF. And then I want you to take that birthday flyer PDF and I want you to upload it to your assignment link. That way, by sending me a PDF, not only do you learn how to make a PDF, but the PDF won't, will not adjust any of the uh, formatting. It'll kind of solidify this flyer. Okay, that's it. Thank you for listening. I look forward to seeing your assignments.